Yep, so today's adventure brings us here, folk. This place is called the Connecticut Valley Hospital, CVH as we know it here in Connecticut, for the mentally insane. This is just as one of the buildings. I'm going to show you a few more. And here's another. This is the back side of one of the buildings, which is either being restored or torn down. I'm not sure which. Another thing about uh, CVH, Connecticut Valley Hospital, um, it, it was, uh, I think uh, 1868 it opened. I'll, I'll go and check that out and make sure I got that right. But I think it was 1868 that it, it officially uh, became the, the place. It was an uh, insane asylum for the mentally ill. And you can see behind me all of these stones here. These are all people who died here. And you got to remember back in the day, mental health wasn't quite what it is today. I mean, if you were like the town drunk and were drunk all the time, flipping, flopping around, they considered you, you know, they could just send you up here. And you got to remember back in the days, not a lot was known about mentally, mental illness as, as it is now. And there were a lot of experiments done on these people, you know. Um, what do you call those? Lobotomies, all sorts of things. Where they're just, they were tinkering with people's brains back then. And here you go. This is where a whole lot of those people ended up. And I'm going to flip you around and show a little bit more to, and explain a little bit more about this place. As we come down and you see all these uh, gravestones and everything, all these people were given back then was a number. You know, 1366. There's 1365, 1348, 1349, so on, so on. That's what all of these people over here, and you can look over here too, there's a bit more over there. So as time went on, you know, families were coming out, uh, finding their people and all this and wanting to know who's who. And then I guess a uh, group of people, who knows, uh, they all kind of got together. And, uh, I mean, this, this folk, I'm going to try and get a good, good shot of this so you can see how far back this goes. This goes way back there along that tree line over there. There are so many. So what they did through time is now you could come here. And they set up the Connecticut Valley Hospital Cemetery Directory. So for instance, you've got a name and then you've got a number. I believe this is, uh, you know, their, maybe their date of birth and when they died or whatever. I don't, I'm not sure. But they finally, you know, they finally came out here. So you, you, you've got this, this one. You've got this, this is a, a rather big one, and then you got this one, and this one says, May all who are buried here, whose names and dignity have now been restored, rest in peace. It's pretty cool. And uh, people will come by, leave little memorials, um, stuff like that, you know. And... Um, we got a thing over here, you know, in loving, remember, we lovingly remember those resting here. Dedicated May 22nd, 1991 by the Connecticut Alliance for the Mentally Ill. Um, got a little bit more to show you. I'll be right back, folks. They also have... So you can sit there in front of the stones and look at everything, um, a bench here. It's pretty nice. It says, may light shine upon them. And over here, it says people will come by and do the rock stacks. You know, stacking rocks and stuff as a, you know, tribute that they were here. So, uh, figure the heck with it. We might as well do one of our own here. So there we go, folk. The story of this area. 
Not a very happy story, I assure you. Not for these people, but may they rest in peace and God bless them. This right here is a veteran cemetery. That are on, it's on the same grounds as the former insane asylum. God bless our veterans. All right, in this area, folks, this was another one of the buildings of CBH, but this one has recently been really restored very well and now houses is a place to house a lot of our veterans.